you said there is a healthy, and I suppose that's one thing that social media has driven into all of us. It's made a very unhealthy, unhealthy mental um, landscape for an awful lot of people. And of course, you deal with that in your, your podcast. Um, you've been talking about mental health issues for the last God knows how long. I, I'm in the same boat as you. Mm. Um, but when it comes to um, how it's changed for people now, because you talk to people, a lot of people all the time, how has that evolved over the years and, and the difficulties that are facing people now as opposed to maybe 10, 20 years ago? I mean, I think society has really stepped up in terms of eroding the stigma and the conversation around it. My fear is the systems haven't. The systems haven't kept up and the systems haven't evolved to deal with what is now an, an incredibly progressed way of looking at the human condition, which is we're all on a spectrum of emotions. Some people, you know, you know, perfectly waltz through life and everything's great and some people don't. And I think the systems of support are crucial. And I don't mean just the systems of, of mental health support. I mean the systems of, for example, you know, things like getting mortgages, you know, being asked, you know, people, like in my case, when I was getting a mortgage, it was a big thing that I was on medication for a period of time and it was questions that I was asked. And then you have friends of mine who are, in, you know, in the guards and they're worried about talking and looking for help because they're going, if I get help, will I be able to, mm. you know, progress? So this type of systematic stuff, the systematic stigma, it's still there. So it requires a deeper level of work. And then in my own work, I think the other element of it is, is we have to be very careful with the language around. I don't like the word resilience. I think it's a word we overuse. You know, we shouldn't be resilient to what's going on in the world right now. It is not normal. It is overwhelming. And it, actually, it's a perfectly healthy human response to be overwhelmed by it. Mm. And scared mm. and frightened and, and worried. It's crisis after crisis yeah. after crisis. And I think... Karma crisis, that's the new, new Yeah, phase. and I think it's okay that we feel a bit anxious and a bit rinsed by that. And I think that's actually quite healthy. Mm. And I think it's this constant need to go, you need to be more resilient. I'm like, well, I don't know if I do, because then you're normalising it and you're... You're kind of putting all the emphasis on the individual that, you know, it's not society or culture at all that's maybe creating this stress or anxiety in you. And I think that's really important. So I think language around how we speak about this is becoming more and more important. And also my big passion is early intervention. So that's A Lust for Life, you know, the charity I co-founded where, you know, we've reached 50,000 students now in primary schools with these programs. That's to me is what we're trying to yeah. do. Yeah, because that's the, that, that was the question I was going to ask you. Have you noticed that the, the, the people who are coming to you and listening to your podcast and contacting you via social media or other means are getting younger and younger? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But like the thing about it is, do, do we want to be a problem admiration society about it or do we want to constantly, you know, what can we do about it? We got, we, what we have in Ireland is an incredible, I think we don't understand how good our education system is, how good our teachers are, the systems and framework that they have to work. I think that's something we need to value above everything else. Uh, I think even you look at some of the major health issues we see, a lot of them are born in, in, in education where you can actually help people early. And I think that's what we, we've done with Us For Life and it's been really successful. And our aim now is to go into secondary school systems, is to build out a, an educational framework that can teach, and it's not gonna solve all the problems, but it's definitely gonna help. And it's gonna give people skills and tools to deal with the inevitable stuff that comes our way in life.